Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us. I'm Sean Mooney. I'm Priscilla Casper. Two days from now, convicted child killer Frank Atwood is scheduled to die. Vicki Lynn Hoskinson was kidnapped and killed back in 1984. For nearly 40 years, Atwood has maintained his innocence, and his attorneys have been doing all they can to try and get a stay of execution. News for Tucson's Lupita Murillo has been covering the case since the very beginning. She joins us live from the newsroom with the very latest on today's appeals. Lupita. It's been a roller coaster ride of emotions for the family of Vicki Lynn Hoskinson, and today is no exception. Every court hearing, they relive what happened to their daughter on September 17, 1984. The latest round of appeals is being considered in court at this hour, and we will bring you that decision as soon as it comes down. Meantime, a mystery surrounding the Hoskinson case still lingers in the desert where her remains were found. The general area where Vicki's remains were recovered. Leo Duffner was a homicide detective in 1984. Gary Damers and I responded on day one uh, to begin the investigation of a kidnapping at the time. The location at the end of Ina Road is about 20 miles from Vicki Lynn's Flowing Wells neighborhood. Her abandoned pink bike was found just blocks from her family home. It was the bike she'd gotten for Christmas. Vicki was allowed to ride her bike alone that day for the very first time. She went to mail a birthday card to her aunt in New Mexico. Lori Myers still has that card. It's just really hard to share your birthday with something that was so violent to your family that actually has changed our lives forever, the way we raised our children. Investigators say Frank Jarvis Atwood intentionally struck Vicki Lynn with his car. Pink paint was found on the bumper of his vehicle when he was arrested in Texas days later. Atwood claims the paint was planted. Seven months later, a hiker found her remains. But months before that, Debbie Carlson had been drawn to the area. She talked about her mother's intuition in a 2006 interview. The further I got down here on Ina Road, I just, the emotions were stronger and stronger. And then I started hearing this voice, Mommy, I'm here. Mommy, I'm here. Her skull and um, a jawbone and perhaps some other small matter, but all of Vicki was not recovered here. So part of Vicki still resides in this area. After nearly 40 years, the mystery remains as the convicted killer runs out of appeals. It's aggravating and it's frustrating to those involved, but that's the way our system works. Um, um, but at the end, I'm sure his appeals will run out and he will ultimately be put to death by the state of Arizona. Atwood is scheduled to die by lethal injection on Wednesday, June 8th. Reporting live from the newsroom, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.